Welcome. Our class today we shall be discussing what we call Kramer's room. So previously we dealt with three by three matrices. We've done how to get the determinant of a three by three matrix and the uh, inverse of a three by three matrix. So we want to today look at another application of a three by three matrix called Kramer's room, so as to be able to solve a simultaneous equation of three unknown. Simultaneous equation of three unknown may have three variables. That is, for example, we have got x, y, f, z. So to get the values of these variables, we use the formula x is given by d along x all over d, while y is given by d along y over d, z is given by d along z over d, where d is the determinant of the matrix, the three by three matrix, and d along x, d along y, d along z, are the determinant obtained by replacing the respective columns by the output column. So we are going to see an example and see how we replace the two. We have got an example here that we are told to solve for x, y, and z by the method of Kramer's rule. So you have got x plus y plus z is equal to 2, 3x minus 4y minus 4z is equal to negative 1, 2x minus 5y minus 2z is equal to negative 17. So you need to solve for the variables by the method of Kramer's rule. So the first step, you need to form a 3 by 3 matrix from these simultaneous equations. That's by taking just the correspond, the coefficient of the variables. So in the first one, we have got 1, 1, 1. The second one, we have got 3, negative 4, negative 4. And we have got, the last one is 2, negative 5, negative 2. So this is our 3 by 3 matrix. If this matrix is multiplied by x, y, and z, we are going to back to the 3 simultaneous equation. And this one we are told is equal to be 2, negative 1, negative 17. So we form a 3 by 3 matrix. So to solve it first, you need to get the D, that is the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix. And how do you get the determinant? For you to be able to get the determinant, you form the sine array, that is plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus. So you use the sine array for you to be able to get the determinant. By taking the sine, the first sign is positive, you take its coefficient here is 1, then you form a 2 by 2 matrix by closing the row and column. So if you call that row and this column, you end up with the 2 by 2 matrix, negative 4, negative 4, negative 5, negative 2. Then the second term is 1 times the sign is negative 1. Then you form its 2 by 2 matrix, that is 3, negative 4, 3, negative 4, 2, negative 2, 2, negative 2. And the third term is 1 and times the sign, which is positive, that is positive 1, into the 2 by 2 matrix is now this one. That is 3, negative 4, 2, negative 5. So you proceed and get the magnitude of each 2 by 2 matrix. That will be negative 4 by negative 2 gives you 8. Then negative we have there as a negative, yes, negative, negative, good. Then 2, 2. Do you have it in the right format? Negative 4, negative 4, yeah, it's okay. So that one is negative 8. This by this is negative 8. This by this is negative 20. Plus, then you have got negative 1 into. 3 by negative 2 gives you negative 6. 3 by negative 2 by negative 4 is negative 8. Minus minus gives you a plus in that format. Then we have got 3 plus 1. 3 into 5 is negative 15. Then 2 by negative 4 is negative 8. So it becomes positive 8 in that format. So what do you have? If you sum all of them, what do you get as the sum total? You'll get a sum total in that format. So this one shall give you, sorry, here we have got positive 2. Here is positive 2, yeah. Such that here is now positive 2. 
here is positive 2. Here is positive 2, here is negative 2 in that format. Such that this one shall give you negative, this one gives you negative 49 if you solve that one. Then this one being your D, you move to the next one that is how to get the dx. dx, you take the 3 by 3 matrix, you take the column of x, this is the column of x, this is the column of y, this is the column of z, you take the column of x, you replace by the output. So the first column now becomes 2, negative 1, negative 17, then the last two columns remain the same, that is 1, 1, negative 4, negative 4, negative 4, negative 4, here becomes negative 5, Two in that format. So this is now the magnitude of this equation is what will give us the d along x. The magnitude of that equation is what gives you the d along x. It means that you get the determinant of this three by three matrix by just applying the same sign array. The first one will be positive two into the two by two matrix form is this one. By closing this row and that column, you get negative four, negative four, negative five, two. Then the second term is now minus, and the term is 1 into the 2 by 2 matrix. You close this row and col the middle column. You remain with the negative 1, negative 17, and negative 4, 2. Then the third term is 1, which is positive 1 by the sign here. Then the 2 by 2 matrix that remains is negative 1, negative 17. Then with the middle one, that's negative 4, negative 5, negative 4, negative 5. So you get the magnitude of those 2 by 2 matrices, then you add them together. So this one gives us negative 2 by, negative 4 by 8, is, that is negative 8. Negative 5 by negative 4 is 20, so it is negative 20. 2 outside, which is positive, minus 1 into, negative 1 by 2 is negative 2. Negative 17 by negative 4 is negative 60, is positive 68. So it's still less 68. Then plus negative 1 by negative 5, that is 5. Negative 17 by negative 4, that will shall give us negative 68. So if you sum, you perform that one and sum together, you'll get negative 49. This one gives you negative. 49 in that format. So our dx is 49, negative 49 in that format. Then you proceed and get d. You proceed again and get d along y. d along y shall be given by the magnitude, that's the determinant, of the 3 by 3 matrix, by taking the original matrix, you change the y column, that is the middle column. So the first column still remain 1, 3, 2. The middle column exchanges with the output column, that is 2, negative 1, negative 17. The third column remains the same, that is 1, negative 4, 2. Then you get the magnitude of that 3 by 3 matrix, just by applying the method of determinants. That one shall be, you have got 1 into negative 1, negative 4, negative 17, 2, then minus 2 into 3, negative 4, 2, 2, then plus 1 into 3, negative 1, 2, negative 17. To get the 2 by 2 matrix, you close the column and the row where the variable we are dealing with is, then you get the main with the 2 by 2 matrix. This one shall give us 1 into negative 2 minus 68 minus 2 into 6 plus 8 then plus 3 by negative 17 that's negative 51 then plus 2 so if you solve that one you'll get a negative 147 this one gives you negative 147 if you solve the brackets so our dy is negative 147. Then the last step is now to get d along z. d along z, that is 
d along z shall be given as the magnitude of the 3 by 3 matrix formed by replacing the z column with the output. So the first two columns will be the same. That is 1, 3, 2, 1, negative 4, negative 5. Then the last column changes with the output. That is 2, negative 1, negative 17. Then you get the magnitude of that matrix. So the getting the magnitude is the same, the same method of getting determinants. That one shall be 1 in 2. The 2 by 2 matrix form is negative 4, negative 1, negative 5, negative 17. Then minus 1, which is the middle column, into 3, negative 1, 2, negative 17. Then plus, the last column, that is plus 2 into 3, negative 4, 2, negative 5. So if you permute this one, you will get end up with, if you permute this one, you end up with negative 4 by negative 17, that is 68, 5 by 1, negative 5 by negative 1 gives you 5, so it's minus 5, minus 1 into 3 by negative 17 gives you negative 49, then 2 by negative 1 gives you negative 2, then plus 2 because of the 2 negative sign, plus 2 into 3 by negative 5 is negative 15, 2 by negative 4 is negative 8, it becomes positive. So if you solve that bracket, you end up with uh, positive 98. So our dz is positive 98. But we have to say that x is equal to d along x over d. And our d is negative 49. So x shall be negative 49 over negative 49, which is equal to our x value is 1. y is equal to d along y over d. That is negative 147 over negative 9, giving a negative 49, sorry, giving us positive 3. And z is equal to d along z over d. That is 98 over negative 49, giving us negative 2. So we have got the value of all our variables, that is x, y, and z, by the Kramers method. So we shall do in the next method how to solve using a different method.